Hi, Bob the Canadian here. If you recall, I am doing a series of English lessons called the Why Series. In part one, two, and three, I looked at why reading, writing, and listening practice are important when you are learning the English language. This is part four. In this English lesson, I'm going to talk about why conversations are important, why speaking practice, why having English conversations with an English speaking partner are cool, awesome, and so important when you're learning the English language. Well, hey, welcome to part four of the Why series where we're going to talk a little bit about why English conversations are so important when you're learning the English language. Before we get started though, if this is your first time here, don't forget to click that red subscribe button there and give me a thumbs up at some point during this English lesson if it helps you just learn a little bit more English. So, why should you have English conversations? The first reason why I think it's important to have regular English conversations is because it can set up your week. It can create a routine for you around which you can build a whole bunch of other things. Here's what I mean by that. Usually, if you are going to have an English conversation with another person, usually you set a time and it's usually the same time and the same day every week. What that does is it creates a rhythm. It creates a routine around which all of the rest of your English studying can happen. For me, as, an, as a French learner, I meet with a French speaking partner every single Tuesday at the same time. Because I meet with them regularly, it's like the corner post. It's like the main event in my week when it comes to learning that language. I think the same could be true for you. So the first and coolest part about having an English speaking partner is that it sets up a routine and it helps you stick to a routine when you're learning English. The second cool thing about English conversation practice is that it can boost your confidence. When you are finished having a 30 minute or one hour English conversation with someone, you feel really good about yourself. In some ways, an English conversation is a lot like playing a sport. If you think about it, everything else you do is like practicing for that sport. But the English conversation is like playing an actual game in that sport. So for me, I know that because I'm a French learner, whenever I finish having a French conversation with someone, I just have this rush of positive emotions. And I think the same could be true for you. Have an English conversation with someone uh, and just look and think about how you feel when it's over. It's just an amazing feeling and it boosts your confidence and makes you feel really good about yourself. The third thing that's just really awesome about English conversation practice is that it gives you feedback from someone who speaks English. You don't get this with reading or writing necessarily. I mean, you can write something and send it to someone and get it back from them. Uh, you certainly don't get it when you are doing listening practice. But when you are having an English conversation, there is someone who speaks English right there with you. They can make corrections immediately. They can help you with your pronunciation immediately. So the third cool thing and awesome thing about an English conversation is that there is a person right there who can give you immediate feedback on the things that you are saying. The fourth thing that's kind of cool and awesome about English speaking practice is that it's something you can brag about, but in a good way. It's something you can be proud of. When you have an English speaking conversation with someone, it's fun to tell your friends later that week that you had an English conversation or that you are meeting with someone regular, regularly to have English conversations. Even more importantly, it looks really good on a job application. If you finish 50 or 100 hours of English conversation practice with someone, and if you are applying for a job, if you are able to put down on the job application that you have spent that many hours having real English conversations with someone, that is impressive and it will probably help you get the job. The fifth thing about English conversation practice is that it is practice that you do when you're under stress and when you are nervous. And I think that's actually a good thing. When you have nervous energy when you do something, when you are a little bit stressed when you do something, all of your feelings and emotions are heightened when you do it and you might remember things more. When you have an English conversation with someone and you have nervous energy and you're a little bit stressed and worried about it, it makes it an exciting event during your week. 
And that excitement will probably help you remember a lot more of the words and phrases that you use or that you learn during that conversation. So uh, I think this is a really cool aspect of English conversation. You don't get uh, nervous energy when reading a book or when listening to a song in English, but certainly when you are meeting with someone and you are having an English conversation, it's exciting and awesome and you're a little bit nervous and stressed and all of that can actually help you remember a lot. The sixth thing that's kind of neat about English conversation is that it sort of helps you organize the rest of your week and it motivates you to do more reading, writing and listening. This is similar to the first thing I said that it helps you set a routine. But I want to stress the fact that when you know you're going to be having an English conversation, you are more likely to work harder the rest of the week. You're more likely to do more reading and more writing and more listening practice in English because you want to be able to tell your English speaking partner about your accomplishments. You'll want to be able to tell them that you read three more chapters in the book that you're reading in English. You'll want to be able to tell them that you watched two more episodes uh, of a television show that you are watching in English. Um, and you'll probably just want to say that you listened to a ton of music <laughs> since the last time that you have talked. So. Uh, just another cool thing, the sixth thing is when you know that you're having a regular English conversation, maybe each week, it really helps you be motivated to study a lot and to work hard on the other aspects of learning the English language. The seventh thing that's just really awesome and cool about English conversation is that it will connect you to the English speaking world. When you have a conversation once a week with an English speaking person, they will probably be someone who is very familiar with the English speaking world. They will connect you to that world. They will tell you about the latest cool song, the top selling book that's out right now. They will tell you about the most recent movie that they've seen. They will have this nice connection to the English speaking world. In addition, because they have that connection, they can answer some of your questions. When you're learning a language like English, there's a whole bunch of weird and crazy things that you read or hear and you just don't quite know what they mean. So when you are connected to the English speaking world with an English speaking partner, they can help you. They can tell you the answers to those questions you have about this crazy language we call English. Anyways, I'm Bob the Canadian. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. And share it with a friend if you know someone who is learning English and thank you so much for being here. If you're new, don't forget to click that red subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and if you have a little bit more time, why don't you stick around and watch another English lesson.